Hello everybody! Last week I filmed and posted an anti-haul and a lot of you really liked that video. So I decided that I should experiment with the idea of making this a weekly thing. So pretty much uh, from here on out my goal is to post one of these kinds of videos every single Sunday. So you will know when you come back to this channel every Sunday I will have an anti-haul up for you guys. However, I do want to make this a little bit different this this time. Instead of featuring exclusively products that I will not be even thinking of purchasing, I also want to show you guys some things that catch my eye, some things I found found interesting, and some things I may or may not be picking up. So it's going to be mainly things I don't like because I'm very critical, but also things that I might be interested in. So let's just get into it. First thing I will not be purchasing, and this might surprise some of you, this is going to be the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. Now I'm looking at this palette and I'm like, first of all, I do love Huda Beauty's eyeshadow formula. Uh, the eyeshadows that I've tried are amazing. However, I'm looking at this palette and I'm like, most of these colors are neutral colors and or colors I already have in my collection. The only thing that looking from this and the swatches I know that I do not have or I don't think I have is the uh, really vibrant pink matte shade and I'm not going to buy an entire palette just for that shade. It is, um, they're saying that it has a new formula of eyeshadows and it, that it comes with a mirror. Um, I mean interesting stuff I guess but that just doesn't appeal to me I will not be purchasing that okay so next up is L'Oreal makeup now I have spoken briefly so far in my comment section and a little bit on camera about how sick I am of just seeing neutral palettes neutral everything neutral makeup looks hence this brighter makeup look that I have on today I just want to try and inject a little bit more of some color into my makeup routine so Generally, I am only looking and thinking of um, getting palettes that have colors in them. So, um, when I'm looking at this L'Oreal Makeup Very Much Love eyeshadow palette, palette, it has 16 shades. Initially, it looked like something I might be interested in, but most of the colors that I have are either pinks or purples. So, I will not be purchasing this, but if you do like uh, colorful eyeshadows, you might find this interesting. Next up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. I have swatched some of her highlighters and they look phenomenal. I wish that they would come back with the gold glow kit that they had when they first came out with these glow kits. I really wanted one but I wasn't able to get it and then they stopped selling it. That one I really would love to purchase if they ever came out with that one. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like in this area. But this is the Dream Glow Kit. I don't know, it doesn't say how much it is, but it looks pretty and all, but... I don't think I'll use many of these shades. And these look like they have a lot of sparkle in them, a lot of shimmery flex, and I don't think that's necessarily something I want to put on my face. Plus, um... I mean, if I use these for eyeshadows, but that's just... They don't look pigmented enough to be eyeshadows that would really satisfy me, so I'm not going to be purchasing that. MAC Cosmetics has a new uh, lippy collection. I believe it's supposed to be a MAC O Sweetie lip color, and it is packaged with sprinkles and different scents. Uh, apparently it's limited edition. Um, it looks... I don't, it looks like a liquid lipstick or a gloss. I'm not sure. Might get this, but I highly, highly doubt it because it is limited edition. And if you watched my previous anti-haul, you know that I don't prefer... I don't really typically buy limited edition makeup because I just don't want to only be able to use it on camera for a little bit and then never use it again because that's just not, that, because that's just not fair to you people who are watching. So I will not be purchasing this, I don't think. Oh, this is funny. This is, this is funny. Okay, so Becca Cosmetics is com coming out with a Royal Glow Highlighter. It's limited edition, and I don't know about you, but I think that they're trying to make a buck off of the Royal Wedding. I mean, it looks like a nice highlighter. It looks a little bit chalky to me, based on the swatches, but I trust Becca's formula. I know that it'll probably be really good. This is just funny. I will not be getting it, obviously, because I'm just, I'm not really interested in that. And it just, it looks like something that will only be available for two seconds and then it'll be gone. I mean, this doesn't even have Harry and Megan's faces on it, so... 
well, why bother? I mean, it just has a crown, so they're just trying to make some money off of that. Not interested. Oh, this looks interesting. This is the Beach Please Summer 2018 Collection from Fenty Beauty, and they have a lot of their kilowatt foil freestyle duos. This looks like something I would be interested in, so we'll see about that. So NARS has a new collection that they're calling the Orgasm Collection, and they have a vinyl lip lacquer, an afterglow lip balm, a blush, a loose powder, it's supposed to be an illuminating loose powder. I'm not spending, what is it, $28 for a lip balm when I can just get Burt's Bees. <laughs> and no, I'm just, I'm not getting that. I haven't even tried the orgasm blush. I don't feel like I need to because you know, when you hear so many people talking about a product, it gets boring to me. It's not exciting anymore. I feel like I'm burning a lot of brands here, but okay, see, when I first saw swatches of this collection from Dose of Colors, they have these new eyeshadows coming out, and I was like, that is so interesting. That's so cool. Some of these colors look pretty unique to me anyway. But then I saw the price. <laughs> the price is $20 per eyeshadow. I am so sorry. I am sorry, but I'm not. I don't have enough money <laughs> to pay for even three of these eyeshadows, let alone the entire collection. And I know it's probably expensive because of the packaging, but like, why not have pans? I mean, we all have pans for eyeshadows now. I mean, they look beautiful, but they're so expensive, and I just, it's not worth it if it's that much. I mean, that's $20 for a single eyeshadow. That is way too much. Ooh, Sugar Pill has some nudes. Do I want them? No, I do not. Okay, so this is the Sugar Pill High Tea Collection. It's supposed to be a collection of liquid lipsticks. They have several shades. All of them look like they are pretty um, neutral, mid-tone pinks. I'm not interested. I already have so many shades like this in my own makeup collection. I haven't tried their formula, so I can't speak for that, but I will not be purchasing this just because I feel like I already have so many colors that are very similar to this and I do not need any more. So this is something that I was actually kind of hot and cold on. Um, now I've kind of made my decision. This is a Perception palette by Shayla and Colourpop. I like Colourpop a lot, you guys know this. Um, and when I saw this palette, I was like, yeah, I want to get this palette because it looks so pretty and it really is beautiful. It is a wonderful palette. I love the way that she has neutrals but then she has color. However, will I be getting this? No, I will not because I already have so many of these colors already and to be honest, I do not need another palette that looks like this. I already have several. So that's not something that I need but you guys might find it interesting if you're someone that likes uh, your neutrals but you want to get a little bit into colorful makeup, you might find this interesting. But just because they have some really good quality products for a cheap price doesn't mean that I think it's a good idea to just go out and uh, spend my money, even if it's not a lot of money, on a palette just because it looks pretty and just because everyone's talking about it. I don't think that I'll be using this palette much um, after the hype is, dies down and it's just something that I like but I already have similar things to this palette, so I will not be getting it. This is confusing to me. Maybelline has um, dropped a Lemonade Craze palette with one yellow shade in it. What the heck? Uh, I mean, okay. Um, this is... Okay. This is actually kind of... I don't want to make this negative. This rubs me... This makes me feel weird. This makes me fe question everything. <laughs> what did... What were they thinking? I mean, this is a neutral palette, but it looks like they took out two neutral colors and put in a random yellow and a random red. This is like we talked about last week when Urban Decay was coming out with their light beam palettes and I was like, what are they trying to make happen with this orange and with a random purple stuck in there? This is the same thing except in a bigger format and it looks like a square. I don't understand this. Why name a 
palette, a lemonade palette, when you only have one yellow shade? Tell me why. I mean, if they were going to go with the lemonade name, let me tell you what I like to see. I would love to see a palette with many, like, with probably, like, different tones of yellow in it, maybe, like, some yellow metallics, you could, like, talk, you could make, you could put a lemon yellow, but you could put some dustier yellows so you could put them in the crease. You could even try a gold in there. Everyone likes a gold. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people like gold. Instead, you have a palette that is the most neutral palette ever that could have been called a lemonade palette. And then they have that random red in there. It's called Ice Pop. That red is called Ice Pop. I guess they're trying to do pink lemonade? But, oh, what? I'm not getting this. If you haven't already realized, I'm not getting this. This also looks like it was, it was thrown together. It doesn't look like they had any thought about, behind it, except someone went and got, like, a margarita or whatever. I don't really know my drinks, but it looks like someone got, like, a margarita or a lemonade and was like, oh, yeah, let's make a lemonade palette. But, like, since they're scared and they don't want to take any risks, apparently, they only put one yellow shade in there and one red shade and then made the entire thing neutral. I don't get it. I mean, why call it lemonade then? You could call it like, I don't know. You could call it the Naked 500. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm just, I don't understand. I really don't. I mean, when a company has, um, when a company is so big and it has all these resources to create some really amazing products and they don't, it's not something I can easily understand, honestly. Next up is something from Physicians Formula that I actually am interested in. This is called the Butterbox Collection and um, it looks like it's really inexpensive. They have a butter bronzer in there, they have a blush, they have a body butter and I think a highlight and also a fragrance. I am interested in getting this because I, as you all know, love the Butter Bronzer and I know that I am able to go through these. I actually went through uh, one of these already. This is my second one. So I know for a fact that I go through these. So something like this looks like it would be quite interesting for me because I could be able to try some of Physicians Formula stuff and also uh, get a bronzer. So I am actually considering getting this. I haven't... Um, heard the most amazing things about their blush, but I think that their highlight uh, looks pretty interesting and everyone keeps saying nice things about the fragrance, so I might actually purchase that one. Huda Beauty is coming out with some new Obsessions palettes. You guys know I love their Smoky Obsessions palette. It is so, so good. It is a neutral palette, yes, but it is one of the most amazing palettes I have tried so far. It is really good. It's a quad with nine shades. They're coming out with a Coral Obsessions version and also a Gemstone edition. So this looks quite interesting. Um, the Coral Obsessions one, honestly, I kind of like, okay, this is my opinion. My opinion, okay? I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm not like an expert at trends and um, looking at them. I, I, I just tend to do what I like and if I see a trend I like, I might follow it. But um, in my opinion, I feel like warm toned eyeshadows are sort of come going out. You know, like just going out of style. I feel like more and more people are realizing how much they like cool tones and more colorful makeup too and I love that. So I feel like that's gonna be the new thing soon. Well, maybe not soon, but eventually it's gonna be the new thing, cool tones. And the other one, it looks interesting. I mean, I might swatch it, and if so, I will see if I like it or not. But I want to swatch it myself. So far, I mean, the online swatches look great, but I just want to try it out for myself and see if I like it or not. I do see a lot of purples, and I do have purples in my collection. I also have something similar to that green, I can tell you right now, and that blue, so maybe I won't get it, but I'll swatch it and see what happens. So that is pretty much the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me and staying with me till the end. This was a little bit haphazard than I would have liked, but I will try and work on these videos and make them better for you guys and give you uh, more organized uh, version of my opinions on things, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to see more of these anti-haul videos, be sure to give this a thumbs up. I'd really love to do another one next week and the week after that and just make it into a series, like I said before. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.